can it sense this through the door? Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, that's crazy. Today's video is sponsored by Nordlocker. So I've done a bunch of vision enhancement projects on this channel, like night vision, thermal vision, super zoom vision, all cool stuff. But there's always been that one thing nagging at me. I wanna see through some walls. Like, why isn't that a thing? So last weekend, I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole researching ways to do this. I read countless papers, and by countless, I mean probably like 10, like at least like five, five to 10. I skimmed them, whatever. You know what? Point is, I've got an idea. And speaking of ideas, seamless transition, comment yours down below, cause uh, that's how this whole series works. I build the project that you guys comment. Like look at all these nice comments asking for this video. Or you can take it one step further and build your ideas yourself. <laughs> DM me or tag me on Instagram at jlazervideo, of course, or email me. All right, so here's all the background stuff that you need to know. And a spoiler alert. It's nerd shit. All right, so our eyes pick up a small fraction of the whole EM spectrum. Visible light has a wavelength from about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Full spectrum ranges from super short gamma rays, the ones that cause cancer, wear sunscreen kids, to the really long radio waves. Did I mention I'm a physics major yet? <laughs> You're about, do you want me to explain that? Wait, wait. Wait, where are you going? Where are you? Longer wavelengths path through stuff easier. So in order to see through walls and stuff, we need a camera that can detect these longer wavelengths of light. Answer to this, Wi-Fi. Everyone uses it, and most importantly, it can pass through walls. Think about it, that's how you can have a router in one room and still be destroying kids in Fortnite in another room. And even better, the human body actually reflects and blocks some wavelengths of Wi-Fi. So by shining a Wi-Fi light on someone, essentially, we have a light that can shine through walls, but will reflect and be absorbed off of people. Definitely oversimplifying this a little bit, but that's sort of like the basic idea. Like I'll link some papers and videos down below uh, if you want to learn more. Now with all this new technology like this, privacy is becoming harder and harder. Luckily, there's also technology out there to help with this, like the sponsor of our video, Nordlocker, the same company that does NordVPN, also have a free file encryption service. Let me say that again. Free. What this app lets you do is encrypt files with a master password. It uses the most advanced encryption techniques to date, and after a minute of installation, all you gotta do is just left click on the file, select encrypt, and you're done. This is great if you're on a shared computer, or sending info over public Wi-Fi, or on a, like an unknown website, or just any file that you might want a little bit of extra protection on. So go check it out, link below. Five gigabytes of encrypted storage, once again, absolutely free. Uh, or you can use the promo code JLaserVideo for 32% off. Uh, if you want to go premium, give it a shot. If you like it, awesome. If you don't, just delete it, no harm done. Okay, back to the video. So how do we make one of these Wi-Fi cameras? That's kind of the thing. They don't exist yet. Because of the much larger length of Wi-Fi, you would need a massive sensor to make it work like a normal camera. Like just for comparison, the wavelength of Wi-Fi is about 300,000 times larger than the visible light that we see. So you do the math, just kidding, I already did it. I'm a physics major. But all hope is not lost. Using some fancy physics, a few research projects have actually uh, gotten this to work. I think MIT made one of these and used some AI to actually recognize the reflections of Wi-Fi. I think they're calling it Wi-Fi. Pretty weak sauce name if you ask me. But right here, right now, I'm gonna show you how it's possible to make a Wi-Fi camera, albeit pretty limited one, for under $20 though. And it's not that hard either, like surprisingly. It's pretty easy to detect Wi-Fi, like your phone does it. You can even show you like the strength of the signal, like those little Wi-Fi signals. Uh, but the issue is you don't really know where the Wi-Fi is coming from, like we don't have direction. So if we can solve that issue, then we effectively have a camera. Like for this, we can use a helical antenna. Uh, another YouTube channel, The Thought Emporium, did a video similar to this one. Using one of these antennas, he was able to like map out a room and like get different Wi-Fi hotspots using the same principles. So the antenna consists of a round coil perpendicular to a metallic base plate, and it's directional, lightweight, very easy to make, and most important, it makes you look smart as shit, even if you have no idea about how it works or what is going on. I do physics. Literally, all you gotta do, hop on over to this website, plug in the wavelengths we want to detect I'm using two gigahertz, which is like mid to low L band frequencies of Wi Fi, and it gives us all the specs we need to make the coil. Let's do that. Now that we have our antenna built, we need a device to actually read the signals. Now I originally thought you might need like a high-end SDR. It's basically a 
digital antenna you can plug into your computer. Program it to do all sorts of things. It's super powerful, but uh, it's a bit complicated and costs some dineros. So as a physics major, I did a little bit of research. I found this device called the Satellite Finder. Like this is what people use to make sure their TV dish is pointed like towards the satellites. Super simple, it's only got one antenna input and it tells you the signal strength of the antenna. Fucking perfect. Only reason I was hesitant to use this is because satellites work on a different frequency. I wasn't sure if it detect Wi-Fi, but as it turns out, satellites convert this frequency into like one to two gigahertz, which is exactly what our antenna picks up. Yes. So this $10 device is exactly what we want. Now you could just stop here and hook this device directly up to the antenna, but I added a low noise signal booster to uh, boost these Wi-Fi signals with low noise. So hopefully we can detect Wi-Fi from a little bit further away. So right now all it does is beep when it, you point it at Wi-Fi. So to make this a little bit more like a camera, I added a USB webcam to the top and hijacked the signal from the satellite finder using an Arduino, passed the serial data to my computer, then wrote some Python code to parse the serial data and overlay a red spot on the screen with the opacity based on the serial data. So the stronger the signal, the brighter the red dot will be. So this way we can sort of like visualize where the Wi-Fi is coming from. Now we're done. Why spy version one? You see MIT? That's how you do names. So here's a quick rundown of the device. Look at this thing. <laughs> Screams mad science. So we've got the helical antenna right here, 3D printed tube with eight turns of copper wire around it. And that is attached to a metallic base plate. We've got one electrode coming off here and one electrode coming off the base plate. And that is piped right into our satellite finder right here. Here's the low noise amplifier. We can pop this off and screw this on so we can boost the Wi-Fi signal so we can see a little bit further with this thing. The whole thing's powered by a couple of nine volts in here. We've got the on off switch right here. So we just go in and pop this on. Got this voltage regulator thing over here to make it look even more mad science-y. But uh, we've got the display up here. This just pipes voltage into this uh, low signal noise amplifier. And it also lets us know if our batteries run out. So if we hold up some sort of Wi-Fi emitter like our cell phone right in front of this. Oop. You can see, it starts beeping. Ooh, sweet spot. And you can see if I take it away, there's not really much other Wi-Fi in this room. Point it around, it's not gonna really pick it up, but as soon as we get it near Wi-Fi, it starts beeping. So, as I said, we uh, hijacked the signal from the beeps, piped it into an Arduino, and then we've got the cable running off here, along with the uh, webcam up here. So these both plug into my computer. Got the J laser details on there, of course. Always plug, you know what I'm saying? Merch link in description. So right now, all this thing does is give us the intensity of Wi-Fi signal in one direction. Sort of think of it like a camera with like one pixel. So we don't really have the resolution to pick up like figures. Maybe a cool future thing, like let me know if you want me to keep rolling with this. However, government track phones put out some of the same frequencies that this device detects. Everyone carries these, so that's how we're gonna be able to track people through walls and stuff. And last thing, because I don't wanna be walking around carrying my computer everywhere I go, sort of like pointing this thing, looking for Wi-Fi. We're gonna send my screen of the computer to these heads-up display smart glasses by Vuzix. Things are pretty sweet. If you watch some of my recent videos, you may have seen me using these. Got a little mini projector in there that projects screen right into your eyeball. You can just toss the computer on my backpack and now we are fully equipped to see through some walls, baby. Cast into the glasses, got the thing recording. So I can see on the glasses, the view from this and uh, if red dots pop up. See if we can see through this door. Door to my closet right there, as you can see, no Wi-Fi signals anywhere in there. Just a test control, no Wi-Fi signals coming from behind this door. But, got the phone right here, lighting up like crazy. Let's see what happens if we put this behind the door. Put it on the shelf right back in here. And if we close the door, we're still gonna be able to detect it. Let's find out. Oh, yup. Yep, 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 yep. Signal quieted a little bit, but as you can see, we're still getting detections. Definitely lighting up right in this area. Getting a lot of signals. But remember, this isn't the spot where the Wi-Fi is coming from. It's coming from behind there in the closet. So if we look at this spot from another angle, we're not gonna get anything if we look at it from this. So there we go. Let's see how uh, thick of a wall this thing can detect stuff through. I'm gonna do control test, nothing, just my phone. Single board. And we'll walk in. Oh, a little bit slower to detect, but as you can see, it's still detecting. Oh yeah, and if you're worried about the Wi-Fi going around this thing, don't be, because remember this is directional. The whole reason this works, it's because it's looking straight at it, so. Plate two of wood. And we'll walk by. 
Oh, easy. Without hesitation. Go two more pieces of plywood. Big wood guy. All right, that's easily going through. So we're gonna do a lot more pieces. All right, a lot more wood. Oh my God. So like, if it was in my pocket, or if I was like just texting and walking by, it would get it. All right, I'm happy with that. I don't know what else to use. Let's see if it can get through this cinder block too. Oh my God, are you kidding me? What? What? All right, that's crazy. Let's do a range test though, with like no obstructions. Range test, point blank. One step backwards. Maybe I'm just gonna make sure we're flat. All right, nice. One more step backwards. Got it. One more step backwards. Got to at least about maybe here, 10 feet away. They're not like super long range, but it can see like the penetration is pretty good. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with this version one. And if you did like it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, please, because it took a lot of research. Uh, this is interesting. My mom just called me. The device is just blowing up, like much more than it was putting off before. So I think signals you use to talk on the phone or it picks them up much more than it does like regular Wi-Fi signals. So it's a cool thing to know. Now the future would be cool to track like the view of the camera. So we could sort of like pin the Wi-Fi signal to the spots where it was sighted. So like, you know, like Snapchat, how they have like those pin emojis. So uh, you could like pin those red circles so we could just wave this device around and it would like track where all the Wi-Fi signals are like and keep them on the wall. I think that'd be really cool. You'd also have to be careful though because while you might be getting a Wi-Fi signal on one part of the wall from one angle, if you move over and shift and look at that same spot in the wall, because the wall isn't the source of the Wi-Fi, like, you might not get that signal. Like it might not be directly behind the wall. Maybe if we had like two antennas, we could get some like sort of depth of field thing, like kind of like how our eyes work. But there you have it guys, $20 device that lets you see through walls kind of. Albeit pretty crude and has some limitations, but cool nonetheless. So I hope you guys did like this video. Comment what you want me to make next. Slap a like on this and of course subscribe and we will catch you guys in the next video.